Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I'm showing you a really cool DIY project, one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to show you how to do a stuffed animal from scratch. In my case, I'm doing something like a teddy bear, but the cool thing is, and what I definitely want to emphasize, is that you can do this any way you like. You can do any animal you like or any shape you like. I'm just going to show you the basics of how to do something shaped like this and then you can of course do your own thing or maybe do a gift for someone else in a different style. So the cool thing is the size is customizable then of course the color, the style even. So yeah, it's a really cool basics project that you can apply to pretty much any idea you might have that's similar to this. So yeah, that's why I decided to show you this today. And if you would like to see how you can make something like this, then stay tuned. So we have some pins here, some universal liquid glue or super glue, or if you'd like to use two different fabric, then hot glue gun works good as well. And yeah, so whatever glue you can find or prefer using. Apart from that, we need some thread and I made sure to match my thread with the eyes and the nose of my teddy bear. And then apart from that, we also need some fabric scissors and some stuffing. I'll glue the mouth and the nose. Any kind of glue works, so a hot glue gun, super glue, whatever you have. Just make sure you're patient and don't make a mess. And now let this dry a bit. I can also additionally, after it's dried, do a stitch around the shape if I want it a bit more secured on here, but sometimes that's really not necessary. So decide on your own what you want to do. Here are all of my little pieces and by that I mean ears, feet and similar. So these parts I want to sew together and I always have two pieces of them, but I'll do them pretty side on pretty side like this. And then here around and turn inside out through the opening and stuff with any filling material of your choice and repeat the same with all of your pieces, all of your legs as well as ears. So again like this and connect the outer edges. Here are my individual pieces and for example you can see what it looks like when I stuff it a bit, so something like this. So all we need to do is connect the bottom to the head. So now before we actually connect it we will secure the stuffing inside by doing a stitch on the bottom. So pin together to make it stay in place and then you can close the bottom here. You can do it with a zigzag stitch if you'd like as well and we will do the same with the legs and any other pieces that you have like this. So that way we have a flatter bottom and it's even easier to connect to the head or the body or the main section of your stuffed animal. So it should look like this now that it's closed. So now we can move on to the body and head and get to attaching. So grab one piece since we can do them all at the same time and let's get started. So take a look at your shape so that it's the way you planned it to be. And then we can do our mouth, nose,
the belly. You can mark where you want the legs as well. Just put them the other way around like this and pin them onto the main piece. And we are doing it this way so that we can stitch it up. We will of course later turn it inside out and it will be pointing the right way. So all pieces are connected now, so the body is getting its shape and we are finally ready to do stitches on the bottom of each extremity and ears. So simply pin them to secure them on here and then sew a regular or zigzag stitch. And we are putting all of them pointing to the center of the front section because we still um, have some leftover stuff to do afterwards, so we're doing the back section and that way we have everything in place in the end. So you see all of my pieces on here. Also, I'll add the eyes as well. I'll glue them, but I'm not sure if I'll sew them additionally as well. They might look weird because the fabric is of leather and could be weird with the stitch. These two sections, you can do whatever way you want. So you can glue it on here, you can do it by hand, you can go with your sewing machine along the edges. All that matters is that it's nicely connected and stable on here and the same on here, all around in any way you like. So I'll also stuff the inside section a bit so that this section ends up with kind of a 3D effect and then I'll finish the stitch. So everything is pink. I did the hand sewing sections already and glued the eyes on here. All that is left are the ears and legs and the back as well, so the whole back section. So in this case I have it prepped and I did a little heart shaped tail. I think it's super cute and kind of makes the back more interesting and not so plain. So anyway, let's now put it pretty side on pretty side and we will again pin the edges together. Here we will leave an opening so that we can turn this inside out later and stuff it. Make sure that everything stays in place, so on the inside. So now you can see here the shape turned inside out um, with the ears and the feet of course. And our final step now is to take our opening and stuff it till we get the desired firmness or softness and then we will close this up. Now that we did this, we need to close the opening up. So I'm doing it by hand this time with my transparent thread. I think it's easier that way. The fabric itself is super soft and fluffy, so hand sewn stitches are easier to hide. So just like here where I did the heart shaped tail. So that's what I'm aiming for with this final step as well. So you guys, here is our teddy bear now. So you see what the end result looks like. As I said, it's highly customizable. In my case, you see the lovely big ears on top, the rounded ones, they look like half circles. Um, then as well, I have some arms and legs or four legs if you'd like. Um, here is also a pretty customizable shape. I chose to have them a bit thinner and then this huge body that you can see with the lovely mouth and some eyes and the belly as well. 
So yeah, this was what I decided to do for today in a blue color with some white and black details, but you can of course customize this and see what you have lying around your house or see what you can get from a store maybe where you buy this stuff and yeah. I hope you guys could follow easily and I hope you didn't have any trouble while trying this out. So once again, this is my end result, but feel free to let me know what yours is and how it turned out. And if you're satisfied, the comment section is below the video. You can also shoot us a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you would like to see more, you can even subscribe to the channel for free and that way stay updated every time we post something new. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.